Hello friends, welcome to Literary Diary. Friends, today's video is very interesting because today's video is based on the structures of sonnet. So from this video, you will get a clear idea of sonnet. So let's start this session. So at first we have to know that what is sonnet. So sonnet is a poem in a specific form which originated in Italy. The term sonnet is derived from the Italian word sonetto. By the 13th century, it signified a poem of 14 lines that follows a strict rhyme scheme and specific structure. So friends, what is the rhyme scheme? So the rhyme scheme of a sonnet refers to the pattern formed by the rhyming words at the end of each line. Each end rhyme is assigned a letter and the 14 letters assigned to the sonnet describe the rhyme scheme. Different kinds of sonnets have different rhyme schemes. So now we have to know the history of sonnet writing. So the sonnet was created by Giacomo da Lentin. He was the head of the Sicilian school under Emperor Frederick II. Then Quentin de Arezzo rediscovered it and brought it to Tuscany, where he adapted it to his language and where he founded the Guetonian school of poetry. He wrote almost 250 sonnets. Other Italian poets of the time were Dante, Alighieri, and Guido Cavalcanti also wrote sonnets. But the most famous early sonnetary was Petrarch. Michelangelo also wrote fine sonnets. So now we have to know the structures of sonnet. The structure of a typical sonnet of the time included two parts that together formed a compact form of argument. The first part is called octave which describes a problem or question followed by a sestet means two tercets which proposes a resolution. Typically the ninth line initiates what is called the turn or volta which signals the move from proposition to resolution. So there comes the ABBA, ABBA pattern which became the standard for Italian sonnets. So uh, the ABBA, ABBA is the rhyme scheme. Okay. So for the sestet there are two different possibilities. So in case it is CDE, CDE and CDC, CDC. In that time other variants on this rhyming scheme were introduced such as CD, CD, CD. Okay. So then Petrarch typically used an ABBA, ABBA pattern for the octave followed by either CDE, CD rhyme scheme or CDC, CDC rhymes in the sestet. Uh, then the Caribbean variant of the Italian sonnet has the rhyme scheme ABBA, CDC, EFG, EFG. Then the symmetries ABBA versus CDC of this rhyme scheme have also been rendered in musical structure in the late 20th century composition Scrivo in Vento by Eliot Carter, inspired by Petrarch sonnet 212. Okay. In English, both the Shakespearean sonnet and the Italian Petrarch sonnet are traditionally written in iambic pentameter. So now we have to know that what is the Petrarch sonnet. The Petrarch or Italian sonnet, named after the 14th century Italian poet Petrarch, has the rhyme scheme ABBA, ABBA, CDE, CDE. The first eight lines, which all end in either rhyme A or B form the octave and the last six lines which end in C, D or E form the cystid. Variant rhyme schemes for the cystid also include C, D, C, D, C, D and C, D, E, D, C, E. There is usually a pause or break in thought between the octave and cystid called the volta or turn. Traditionally, one main thought or problem is set out in the octave and brought to a resolution in the cystid. The sonneteers like Sir Thomas Wood Henry Howard, Earl of Surrey, used the Italian Petrarch form. John Milton, Thomas Gray, William Wordsworth, and Elizabeth Barrett Browning also used this form in their sonnets. Though the Miltonic sonnet is a Petrarch sonnet, but it omits the volta. Wordsworth often used the Petrarch form but changed the octave to A B B A A C C A because it is harder to find rhyming words in English than in Italian. Early 20th century American poet Edna St. Vincent Millay also wrote mostly. Petrarch sonnet. Okay, so Milton's on his blindness gives a sense of Petrarch rhyme scheme. Okay, so see the following sonnet. The rhyme scheme is A B B A A B B A C D E C D E. Okay, hope you understand it. Okay, so the next is Shakespearean structure of sonnet. The Shakespearean or English sonnet was actually developed in the 16th century by the Earl of Surrey. But it is named after Shakespeare because of his great sonnet sequence printed in 1609. 
द शेक्सपियर सॉनेट हैज द राइम स्कीम ए बी ए बी सी डी सी डी ई एफ ई एफ जी जी फॉर्मिंग थ्री क्वार्टरस फोर लाइन्स इन अ ग्रुप एंड अ क्लोजिंग कपलेट टू राइम लाइन्स द प्रॉब्लम इज यूजली डेवलप इन द फर्स्ट थ्री क्वार्टरस इच क्वार्टर इन विथ अ न्यू आइडिया ग्रोइंग आउट ऑफ द प्रीवियस वन समटाइम्स द फर्स्ट टू क्वार्टर आर डिवोटेड टू द सेम थॉट रिजम्बलिंग द ऑक्टेव ऑफ द पेट्रो कंसोलेट एंड फॉलोड बाई अ सिमिलर वॉल्ट most strikingly unlike the petrarch conversion the shakespearean sonnet is brought to a punchy resolution in the epigrammatic final couplet so see the following example sonnet number 18 shall i compare this to our summer's day okay so the rhyme scheme here is a b a b c d c d e f e f g g hope you understand it the next we have the spenserian sonnet the spenserian sonnet is a variation of the english sonnet with the rhyme scheme a b a b b c b c c d c d and e e in which the quatrains are linked by a continuation of one end rhyme from the previous quatrain see the following example so that you can understand it so here i am giving the example of sonnet number 74 one day i wrote her name upon the strand okay so the rhyme scheme is a b a b b c b c c d c d e e so this is the basic structure of sonnet So thank you so much friends for watching this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel hit the like icon share it to your friends and don't forget to comment so bye bye see you soon